Hey guys, so I just wanted to take a second to review Descendants 3 for you guys. I did my top 10 most emotional moments. If you haven't seen that video, be sure to check it out. I've also reacted to a lot of the songs. Be sure to check those out. Um, but you guys have been asking me for a review, like a real, actual, legit review. So here we go. Hey, Tessa from Mama's Geeky here. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. Now, if you've watched my other videos, you know that I got to meet the cast and I got to interview them before Descendants 2. So to me, these kids, these actors have like a very, very special place in my heart. Um, Dove Cameron's one of the sweetest people I've ever met in my life. Boo Boo Stewart is amazing. Cameron Boyce was such a light and I'm so sad that he has passed away. Sophia Carson was incredible. I have a video here. Um, you guys just search her name on my page. And you'll see, but she made a video for my kids, which was amazing. It was really awesome. So nice of her to do. So yeah, I mean, and we also got to interview Kara San, who did the costumes for Descendants too, which was awesome. And Kenny Ortega, who you guys know who that is. So uh, yeah, it was amazing. So all of these kids and these characters, oh, and China, I got to interview China too, which made me fall in love with Uma and her swag, which is exactly what China said about it. But Anyway, you guys, this is this is why these kids just meant so much to me and these characters mean so much to me. So I loved the first Descendants. I absolutely loved it. The second one was good. I enjoyed it. I did. But I liked the first one better. I was like, listen, the first one's better, which is usually the case. But three blew, blew my mind. It's hands down my favorite of all the movies. Hands down. And it really surprised me at how amazing it was all the songs are super catchy i mean they are in the first two anyway but in this one like i find myself singing them i'm walking around the house going from the north to the south from the east to the west like i love all the songs all the songs queen of mean is amazing like for halloween i kind of want to be bad audrey like do you think i could pull it off do you think that's who i could be for for halloween because my kids want to be mal and evie my daughters i have an eight and a six year old that's who they want to be feel like I could be evil Audrey and then I guess my husband could be Ben I don't know <laughs> who do you think my husband should be that's maybe not the best idea uh, Audrey and Ben things didn't work out too well for them um but I just I absolutely loved 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 this movie I loved the story I think it wrapped everything up perfectly so if there isn't a four which fingers crossed they make a four but if there isn't a four I think things ended well I think they they were it was a perfect ending if you ask me a really great ending um, I'm going to get into some spoilers. So if you haven't seen it yet, stop watching now, but thank you and comment below and don't forget to come back after you watch. So spoilers, um, which most people know already, cause I believe it was in one of the first looks or the trailers, uh, Hades being Mal's dad had me hyped, hyped. Maleficent is one of my favorite villains and so is Hades. So I kind of love the fact that they came together and had a baby and it's Mal who's amazing and probably my favorite VK. I go back and forth between her and Evie because I just, I absolutely love Evie and how sweet she is and creative that she is. Uh, if you don't know, I talked about it in one of my other videos. So I have my Guardians of the Galaxy sleeve here, but this arm is reserved all for Disney villains. And the plan all along has been to have Ursula, Maleficent, and Hades right at the center of it. So kind of love that Hades was in this one and he was amazing wasn't he Cheyenne was so good and so perfect and I actually read something that said he didn't watch the animated version at all of Hades you know of Hercules he didn't want to know he wanted to bring Hades totally himself and I think he did an amazing job I think it was perfect I loved the dynamic between Mal and Hades I thought it was amazing and I really liked at the end when like they kind of you know she gave, forgave him and she gave him a hug or well not really a hug but like a kiss on the cheek and then he gave her the ember I was like oh oh they made up oh they're so cute because during their song uh you really could tell they were very similar you know like father like like daughter they really truly were and I thought that was awesome um, there were so many things I loved. I can't even, uh, every single song. I loved the story arc with Audrey being bad and then, you know, her regretting everything and realizing that she kind of went a little overboard. I loved everyone apologizing to each other. I thought that was really important. I mean, it was really, really important for Ben and Mal to finally apologize to Audrey because 
I mean, you can't re I mean, you can blame her for what she did. It was not very good, <laughs> but you really can't blame her after how she was treated. You know, her life got turned upside down and she wasn't expecting that. So I really liked that. Man, there were so many things. I loved Carlos and Jane. And uh, every time I saw Cameron, I just teared up a little bit because like I said, I got to meet him and he was such a light and he was so excited for the future and the movie. He was like, you guys are going to flip when you see the movie because we saw about half an hour of Descendants too. And he was like, wait till you see the whole thing. It's amazing. Like he was just so vibrant and excited. And uh, man, when I heard he passed, it really, really broke my heart. 20 years old. That's so young and he had so much more to give and so much more life to live and so much more talent to show us and give us. So was really sad about that um but man just the movie itself I mean uh, it was so great I mean two thumbs up per amazing amazing movie um what do you guys think let me know in the comments was this your favorite I mean this was easily my favorite now I will admit I haven't seen the first one in a while I saw the second one about a month ago I rewatched the second one um but I haven't seen the first one in a while so maybe if I rewatch that it'll be my favorite but I really think that, I mean, this is my favorite one. I feel like, I feel like everything was wrapped up neat in a bow and I would love to see more. Maybe of Uma and her crew, Harry. I love Harry. Harry is eccentric, but he is, he is amazing. I love him. So yeah, tell me what you guys think in the comments. Of course, give me that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You can follow me over on Instagram and Twitter. I'm at Mama's Geeky over there, which is M-A-M-A-S. G-E-E-K-Y, same as here. If you want to see those Descendants 2 interviews, you can head over to mamasgeeky.com and check them out, or I'll link them down below. And um, yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks so much for taking the time to listen to my thoughts on Descendants 3. If you have any questions, comment below. I'll try to get back to you. And yeah, easily my favorite of the three movies.